always used to look at the stars when I was little. I could always point out Orion's belt because that was the constellation my mom taught me. I remember driving home at night, getting out of the car, and you could look up and Orion was usually in the perfect position. So she'd be like, look, Orion. That was basically all the stargazing we ever did in New Jersey. Westwood is a very suburban community. It's a really quaint town. For fun in middle school, we'd go to the local Starbucks. That was really the only hangout we had. I've always danced, so I feel like it's something I've always known. You're not yourself anymore. You've become part of the piece and you're in a different world. You're pushing your body to its limits and you're trying to figure out where it can take you. Part of the reason why I came to Columbia was because I was able to continue my science studies alongside of my ballet. Giving up one for the other was something that wasn't really appealing to me. So normally, cosmological puzzles are tackled by studying distant objects, so you I'm an astrophysics major here, and I chose it because I think space is cool. <laughs> it has a lot of unsolved mysteries, and I find that really exciting. Columbia is definitely a melting pot. Being able to engage in an open discourse with a lot of different people. I want to be a well-rounded person. I want to be knowledgeable in things other than my discipline. Science is very fact-based and it's very absolute, but then you also need to be able to challenge it in order to have it progress. With the core, it really teaches you that like, you can challenge the ideas of people before you without them being totally wrong. When I first thought about college, I thought it was gonna be very academic, but later I realized that along with academics, you could also get real world experience just because we were in New York City. Working at the Hayden Planetarium was one of the most memorable experiences I've had. Do we know this is full width? Yeah, it is. Okay. We were able to take actual data from the rovers on Mars, and I got to make 3D images out of them. So go right up to that range. It's kind of crazy to think that maybe the universe is infinite. You know, it's very important that we're able to reflect on the universe, because what does that tell us about our species? What does that tell us about life on Earth? Are we complex, or is the universe all complex life? I can't exactly pinpoint how I've changed, but I think of the world more critically than I did before. The core teaches you how to think, how to search for answers. And the same thing with dance. You get steps, then you have to analyze what those steps actually have to mean, and then you have to dance it and portray that character. When you look at the world, you want to see ways you can improve it instead of just accept it and say, oh, well, it's as good as it's going to get. And that's kind of what the, the core has taught me, um, kind of what science has taught me, too, that it's good, but we can improve it and we can make it even better than it was before. Mm -hmm.